Hi everyone, it's Andy at Amy and Andy on Biz, and I've gotten a few questions over the past couple of days. We sent out a, uh, an email asking for feedback on our new website design, and in, in the email I, I included a link to a survey so that folks that were looking at the website design could give us feedback. And I've had several people ask me how we created the survey, and so I thought rather than answering the individual emails, I would, uh, I would do it here as a screencast. Screencasts are something that we're going to use on the uh, podcast and on the website quite a bit to explain software, to do demos, and that sort of thing. So I thought it would be great to try out the technology and, uh, and also to answer the survey question. So the tool that we use is a tool called SurveyMonkey, and it's available online, surveymonkey.com. And um, it's a basic tool. As a basic tool, it's free, and there's no charge for it. Um, and it does pretty much everything you'd want to do in terms of taking a survey. Uh, it, there's two basic limitations to the free version. The first is that you're limited to uh, 100 responses, um, and the second limitation is that you're limited to a certain number of questions, and I, I don't even remember what the number is. I've, I've not run into that as a limit. So I think the basic uh, version will solve the needs of most people, and if you need to eliminate those restrictions, you can uh, sign up for a paid plan. It's fairly inexpensive, um, and you can find all that on SurveyMonkey.com. There are other alternatives to SurveyMonkey. Um, it's just that uh, SurveyMonkey is the one we use, and it's, it's really proven to be quite useful, and, and we really don't need much else. So with that, I'm going to give you a quick demo and show you how we set up the actual survey that we sent you. I'll recreate that, and, uh, and then everyone can see uh, how that works. So I'm going to sign in, and then uh, we'll get started. Okay, so I'm signed into the website, and as you can see, here is the survey that we sent out uh, a couple of days ago. And um, I'm going to create this survey again so you can see what the process is. So we begin by clicking the Create Survey button up at the top, uh, and then we're going to want to enter a name. So for this particular survey, I'm going to call it uh, a a Website Design Survey, and I'm going to add a tag to this just so we know this is the one we did as a test for the screencast. Um, and you obviously can open an existing survey or use a template. We're not going to go into that today, but those features are there. And then you'll click Continue. And what you're presented with is the basic setup screen for the survey itself. And so the first thing we're going to do is sort of design the and, and style the overall survey screen. Um, on the survey we sent out, I chose the Desert Dunes theme. I liked the way it looked, so uh, we'll go with that here as well. You can create a custom theme, as you can see the button here. Uh, if you wanted to edit the colors and that sort of thing, but we're just going to go with the default. Uh, there is a preview survey button. We'll get to that later, but obviously it does what it says. It gives you the ability to see what you've created so far. So now that we've got the basic page set up, we want to edit a few of the page options. And so um, I'm going to click Edit Page Options, and we get to enter a title here. And so I will, uh, I will enter the a a Website Design Survey as a title. And then uh, you also get to enter some text that will... Uh, that will go at the top of the survey. And so I'm just going to cut and paste some text that I've got off the screen here. Um, once you've entered text, you have the ability to, uh, to check the spelling. And um, if there were any issues, it would, it would let you know. And we'll save that page. So now I've got the basic page set up. And um, the task next is to begin adding questions. So we'll start to do that. So I click Add Question. And I am presented with a dialog box that gives me the choice of different types of questions. There are a number of different types of questions. We're not going to cover them all in this screencast. Um, but as you can see, you have the option of adding quite a few different things. For this particular question, we're going to choose the first choice, which is multiple choice with only one answer. And then you're presented with a, with a series of, of dialog boxes. Um, the first is the actual text of the question, which I've got on my clipboard. So I'm going to paste in. And then the next area that you get to choose is, um, is the actual answers. And so in the, for this particular question type, it's simply going to be a list of choices. And I've cut and pasted those in as well. Uh, again, we could check spelling if we needed to. Uh, the choices down the bottom, sort, randomize, or flip choices, that's if you wanted the possible answers to appear in a different order. Um, there's, I'm sure, some scientific uh, studies around how that uh, affects the outcome of the survey. We're not going to get that technical, so I'm not going to use that. I am going to check require an answer to this question, um, and there's some text down here that you could change if you wanted to, uh, that, that, that the user of the survey will get if they don't enter uh, an answer there, but we're not going to do that as well. Uh, add other or comment field. I'm not going to do that in each question, but I will add a comment field at the end. 
And then you also could change the size and placement, which I'm not going to do for this question, but we will do that at the end on the, uh, on the comment box. So we'll save that for later. So I'm going to save my changes. And we've got our first question in place. So I'm going to uh, pause the screencast now. I'm going to add two more questions just like these, and, um, and then we'll come back and try a new question type. Okay, so I've now entered the three questions, as you can see, and uh, our survey is beginning to look like the one that we sent out. We're going to now add a new type of question, and um, SurveyMonkey calls it rating scale, and, and you'll see what this is, but it gives you the ability to enter in um, a question and then get a rating for certain responses. So I'm going to paste our text, te uh, question text in, in that box. And then I'm going to then move down and enter the row choices. And so those are the different words that I want to rank in this particular question. Um, and then you have to, from that point on, you have to enter in the label for each ranking, which I will do right now. Okay, so I've entered in my three choices. I'm going to change this from four ratings to three because that's all we're going to use for this question. You could add an NA column, which I'm not going to do, and you could also, again, uh, sort the rows um, differently for each presentation of the survey. So that gives us a setup for this particular type of question. I'll save that out, and then you can see what this looks like. We actually get a grid where you can rank each one of these words um, with one of the three choices. And uh, so that's that type of question. I'm going to add another one of these, as I wanted the same ratings for a different design. And I'll use the copy function here to do that. So I'm going to actually copy that survey, that particular question. I'm going to paste it down below. And then I simply need to go in and edit the question itself. And so I'll change this from business blue to caricature and save it out. And we've got our last question. So that's all the questions we're going to add. The only thing left to do is um, add two additional pieces of information. The first is I'm going to enter a comment and essay box, which gives me the ability for someone to leave a comment at the end of the survey. On this particular question, I'm going to, um, well, first I'm going to enter the text. So I'm going to cut and paste some text over here just so we have it in place. And then I do want to require an answer to this question. And I also at this point want to change the size and placement. So I'm going to make this character uh, comment box 15 lines long, and I'm going to make it 100 characters wide. I'll leave all the rest of the size and placement information like it is, and I'll save that. And there you go. We've got our, our comment box. So I have one more question type to add here, and it's going to be demographic information. And uh, I just want to give um, anybody entering this, um, this uh, survey a chance to enter their name and if you want. So I'm going to leave that optional, but uh, they can enter a name, a company. I'm not going to do address or city or town or state or any of those. Um, I will allow them to enter their email if they want to. And uh, I'm not going to require it. I'm going to leave the positioning like it is, and I'll save that out. And so there we have our final question. So now that we've completed our survey, the only thing left now is really to publish the survey. So pretty much we're complete. So I'm going to click on the next tab, which is collect responses. And you can see there's four choices at this point for, um, for distributing your survey. We used a link to the website, a link to the SurveyMonkey website to, uh, to distribute ours. And it was really easy. And it's the one we'll use in this demo. There are also some other choices that relate to embedding it on a website publishing it on Facebook and that sort of thing. So we're going to create a link here and I'm going to call it demo survey link. And uh, we've chosen to create the link. So we'll hit next step. And then you're left with this link right here, which is the link to the survey. And if you cut and paste that in a browser, which I will do up here, I'll create a new tab. I will paste this in. Hit return. And there you go. We've got, uh, we've got our survey that we created. You could fill this out right here. You also could have, I meant to show this earlier. I'll go back to the design survey. You also could have previewed your, your survey um, right there in the design section. So that was, a, that was a possibility as well. So we've done that. We've collected our responses. We've posted our, uh, 
our link somewhere. And the only thing left then is um, the analyze results screen gives you statistics and, and analytics on the survey itself and um, gives you the ability to look at that as the survey responses come in. So I hope you found this useful. Uh, SurveyMonkey is a great tool. We love surveying um, on, on the business side, our clients or potential clients. Um, and certainly we're looking forward to doing a lot of surveys on Andy and Amy on business and trying to figure out what everybody wants to hear about. So thanks for listening and I hope you found it useful.